everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about whether or not you should have a stereo microphone or an omnidirectional microphone as opposed to the microphone that you see on here which is a wireless go to. So they all have different functions and different abilities so let's get into why you may want a stereo microphone. So as mentioned we're going to be talking about stereo microphones and how they compare to wireless or shotgun microphones. One thing you're going to notice when I switch over from the microphone that I have on my camera is that you'll hear a lot more of the ambient sounds and you'll hear them from various directions. Right now, if you listen, you can hear a stream and a waterfall down here. You can hear a flagpole that's clinking to my right. You can hear birds chirping in the background and you can probably hear my dog walking around the area. So the nice thing about that is when you want to include all of these sounds, that's when you would use a microphone like this. Oftentimes, especially for us YouTubers, we're looking for microphones that are more directional and that cut out as much of the noise as possible because we're often in loud spots and we want to focus on our voice. But when you're doing video and you want to catch, capture the ambient noise or the ambient ambiance, that's when you want to use a stereo or an omnidirectional microphone. I'm going to give you a few examples of how it sounds when you're using these in various locations. facing that way but it's it should be able to block out as much of this sound as possible where you can still hear me you'll still hear the sound of this but at least I'll be legible or or is it legible or audible I'll be you'll be able to understand what I'm saying more properly unless I'm speaking too loud and clipping it right now anyways we won't find that out until I get back to the studio so let's take a listen to what the ambient sounds like Oh no! And now... 
So this is exactly what I wanted to show you. This is how you can pick up all this ambient sound from all the birds. Unfortunately, some traffic over here as well, but that's the reality. But more importantly, that you can also enhance it by using a separate microphone for your voice, which is placed right here, where all the ambient sound that you hear is placed on the camera itself. So if you listen and try to ignore some of that traffic, you hear constant bird sounds. You hear the sound of my feet moving. You just hear everything. And while that's not often what you want or not always what you want, it's often something that lets you experience the whole environment a lot more cleanly. So my point here isn't that you should have one or the other. I personally wouldn't use a stereo mic for doing voice related stuff, mainly because it just does pick up too much ambient when it's loud all around you. So when you have the two of them working in tandem, you get the best of both worlds. Thanks a lot. Thanks for listening.